Om Shanti and welcome back. Today is the 36th day of your beautiful Vardhan which God the Father tells us about. And in this Vardhan, Baba tells us about how the different three variety of souls. One is you have the Ghursawar, one is the Pyada and one is the Mahavir. How are they different? So in a battle also we have three different kind of people. One is the one who are walking. They're the pawns. Second, if you remember the chess game. Second is the one who are actually on the horse, the horse riders. And third is the one who are on the elephant. The one who are considered the most strongest of all and where the king also sometimes rides on top. So here God the Father explains to us that how in spirituality also we might be either a Ghursawar or a Pyada or we might be a Maharati. So let's go ahead and understand what exactly does Baba mean to say? Baba says, may you be a Mahavir. He wants us to become somebody who's the rider of the elephants, the strongest one, who always has zeal and enthusiasm and experiences the ascending stage. So in life also, we have people who are constantly going ahead, moving ahead in life. And some of them who are trotting a little bit and then stopping. Then again, they take rest. Again, they trot, they ride the horse, then again, they stop. And then we have some people who walk a little bit, they stop and they stop for a long time. They take a lot of rest. And then again, they start walking ahead. So Baba says that I want you to become somebody who is always walking ahead. So just like an elephant is always walking ahead, not stopping but in a slow but constant pace. So here too, Baba says, Mahavir children experience the ascending stage at every second. That means their thoughts are becoming more and more purer, they become more and more spiritual, and they're ascending in this stage, in the spiritual stage. They're becoming more and more peaceful actually because of that. So their ascending stage is instrumental in bringing benefit to everybody. Their home, their family, their friends, even the workplace, all the souls who come in touch with them, in contact with them, actually get benefited because of those kind of souls who are actually Mahavirs. Because they become instrumental. They are always constant. So people, when they look at them, they look up to them. And they look up to them for drawing that energy, drawing that spiritual power. So then Baba says, they do not stop or experience tiredness. They never say, oh, I got tired like in the yesterday's Vardhan. I got tired of winning over anger. I got tired of winning over greed or ego which suddenly again comes back to me they are always up and going they do not stop or experience tiredness but are constantly tireless and always have zeal and enthusiasm no matter what no matter what the situation of people present to them they're constant they're always moving ahead they don't take it as a defeat they never retreat they move ahead so those who stop now baba explains to us those who stop are said to be the horse riders, they stop for drinking water for some time. They look here and there. No. They look at others. No. So, and those who get tired are the infantry. The ones who have been walking for a long time. They walk. They're heavy. They're carrying all those different weapons. So, they're heavy in their mind. Those souls, they get tired and they stop for a very long time. And again, some kind of nudge is given to them and they start walking ahead. So those who constantly keep moving forward are called Mahavirs. They don't need anybody to tell them what to do, what not to do. Or nobody needs to tell them that you need to be strong and go ahead, you can do it. They have got their own self-esteem, their self-value. And they don't depend upon anybody for that. They are leaders. So they are Mahavirs. They are always ahead in the war. So this is a spiritual war which we are talking about. So which kind of soul are we? That will be decided once you get into Brahma Kumaris to learn the divine wisdom, the divine meditation. And then you'll understand that how powerful are you? In your own field, if you are powerful, you might be powerful here too. So let's see. That's the future. So those who constantly keep moving forward are called Mahavis. Their eyes are never drawn to any form of Maya. That means a person who is always accomplishing something bigger in their life. They don't get distracted by day or night. They don't get distracted by the weather. They never get distracted by people or the comments. They never get distracted by situations around them. They can be in the minimalistic kind of uh, atmosphere where they don't have so much of uh, 
let's say uh, facilities and they are still doing well and better than others who have got all the facilities in their life so here too mahavis are the ones who have a simplistic life but they have the aims very high they are thinking unlimited they're not limited at any time or space they're thinking unlimited they're so powerful they are very powerful souls so baba way says what kind of a child do i want you to become as i want you to become a mahavir who moves ahead with zeal and enthusiasm and also has an effect on other souls who might be like the horse riders or who might be like the ones who are the walking infantry they are walking ahead so i want you to become a person a soul with zeal and enthusiasm so let's go ahead their eyes are never drawn to any form of eye they never get distracted by any person they never get distracted by the taste of the tongue or the eyes or the ears they have a very very minimalistic and simplistic life and i wish for you to have the same so that you can achieve your goals in life and aims in life too with this i bid om shanti to you om shanti Thank you.